What is up everyone, my name is Michael Pohl and welcome back to, I guess it's not Bay Area Aquatics anymore, I still haven't quite figured out what the uh, channel name is going to be, but welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're going to be doing the AWR Field Day with the Berryessa Amateur Radio Club uh, up in Woodland. Sorry for the weird setup, I was planning to film an intro video at field day, uh, but it was hot, I got tired, and then I lost track of time and had to leave. So, um, I forgot to film the intro, but I'm going to film it here. So for those of you that don't know what field day is, it's a yearly event for amateur radio operators to basically practice emergency preparedness. The idea is to get out of your typical setup and go set up somewhere portable, um, just in case there was some sort of emergency. You know how to set up as a club, you know how to set things up. Uh, I don't think it's really used that way. Most of the setups that I've seen in field day setups are very not emergency friendly. They take a long time to set up. They take a lot of planning. They require et cetera, uh, like miscellaneous tools or like setup things. But in theory, it is a e-com setup activity. I think in reality, it's mostly like a public service activity uh, or like a public like awareness activity where it gets people to come in. Um, you get a lot of news press for it and it gets people from the club out doing something together. I think that's really where it shines. Some people take it really seriously as an emergency prep thing, um, but I personally see it more as a social event. That's basically what I'll say about a uh, field day. If you're interested to learn more information, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, I just figure we'll get on with the rest of the video. So I started the day out heading up to the uh, field day up in the county fairgrounds area. Um, and on my way over there, I ended up working a couple of simplex stations in my car um, as people were just kind of getting ready for radio, testing out radios before the actual contest got started. Um, and then I got there and worked a couple stations. We had some equipment problems. We were fixing that. Um, I just had a good time. So I will switch over to that footage now and show you guys that. Haven't even fully left for the uh, field day event yet uh, and hopped in my car and turned to 146.52 and it's already blowing up. So it's a good sign. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. Um, radio doesn't even start till 11, but people are getting started early. Um, it sounds like it's KJ, I think it's KJ6 DJV or K6 DJV. Um, but yeah, we'll tune in for just a second. Very nice. Okay, got a copy on you about an S4, but we're pointing towards Bakersfield. 73, counting down the moments before field day begins and I disappear. Kilo 6, Delta, Juliet, Victor, anybody else in the valley? Hello there, Peter. Elk Grove, loudest signal out of that pileup. 50 over S9. X510, that will do it every time. All righty, Peter, 73, thanks for keeping two meter simplex alive. Kilo 6, Delta, Juliet, Victor, there's a few more stations in there. Come on in. Kilo 6, Mike, Romeo, Papa, Mobile. Mike, Romeo, Papa, Mobile, 5 over S9, hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm not too far. I'm in uh, Davis Mobile currently, headed up to Field Day in Woodland. So, uh, have fun. Heard you talking. Figured I'd make a contact. Oh, yeah. Now your signal came up. 55 over S9. Good signal. Anyway, 73, good luck on Field Day. Thank you. 73s. Have fun. All right, so we made it to Field Day. We are at the Woodland County Fairgrounds um, and set up with the Yellow Amateur Radio Society, uh, Yellow Aries, and the Berryessa Amateur Radio Club. So I'll go and give you a little bit of a tour. I've already worked some stations. I worked some two meter on the way up here. Um, been a fun field day so far, uh, but I'll give you a little bit of a tour of what we've got set up. Uh, really long story short, I'll just overthrow some uh, B-roll on it. We have a tri-band, uh, basically beam antenna up at the top of this trailer mast here, and then we have two dipoles here. We're running two stations, um, one for voice, and then one that is voice and sw switching back and forth from CW uh, to single sideband. So, uh, the single sideband CW station is on the tri-bander. The single sideband station is specifically just on the wire antennas. 
Um, for power, they're running a solar trailer um, that is owned by one of the uh, club member's sons. Um, he uses it for agricultural work. So it's a huge solar trailer with a ton of batteries underneath and then a generator if needed. Um, and that's running AC power and then we're running 12 volt power supplies at each station. Um, I know the one station that I was working at is a ICOM 706 Mark II, I believe. Um, and a little antenna tuner from MFJ. Uh, I don't know what's at the other one, uh, but yeah, so figured it'd be a quick little video, nothing too crazy, but just kind of showing a little bit of what we do here at Field Day and uh, maybe show a couple of stations working and uh, we get it out there. So I'm also probably gonna go home and work some Field Day stuff um, and work some FT8, things like that. So uh, it'll be a fun Field Day, kind of a low key Field Day. It's hot, it's supposed to be a hundred and something degrees here in the Sacramento area. So I'm um, not trying to stay out here in the sun for too long, but. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get working some stations. KJ6HCG, this is Whiskey 6 Yankee Alpha Romeo. Yankee Alpha Romeo, Whiskey 6 Yankee Alpha Romeo. Good afternoon to you, what's your class? We are 2 Alpha Sierra Victor. Uh, what is your class, please? Uh, 4 Alpha Sierra Victor. 4 Alpha Sierra Victor, where are you guys? For Alpha Sierra Victor, copy that. We are in Woodland, California, uh, about, what is it, 20 minutes west of Sacramento. I know well. I live in Rockland, uh, and we are in the Pima National Forest, about 30 miles west of the Nice, yeah, we, uh, I was just up there the other day, actually. Um, yeah, you're starting to fade in and out of here, but thank you for the contact, and uh, good luck out there. You got it. Great, QRZ. QRZ. Whiskey 6 Yankee Alpha Romeo. Whiskey, uh, Whiskey 6 Alpha Yankee Romeo. Uh, Whiskey 6 Sierra Golf. You are as far as 9 here. Uh, 3 Alpha San Francisco. Our call sign is actually Whiskey 6 Yankee Alpha Romeo, but we do have your uh, 3, A 3 ASF. We are 2 Alpha Sierra Victor. Roger, Whiskey 6 Yankee Alpha Romeo and your 2 Foxtrot Sierra Victor, over. Negative two alpha Sierra Victor, but call sign is correct. Two alpha Sierra Victor, Roger. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you, QSL. Good luck to you guys. QSL on the call in. Good luck. Whiskey six Yankee Alpha Romeo. Whiskey six Yankee Alpha Romeo. How do I do? QSO, you got it. Uh, we are to Alpha Sierra Victor. To Alpha Sierra Victor, over. Silicon Valley for two Alpha. You're talking to One Echo Oregon, no man. I copy One Echo Oregon to Alpha Sacramento Valley. Uh, what is your call again? Kilo Seven Papa Oscar Julia. I copy Kilo 7 Papa Oscar Alpha Julia. Oscar Julia. Or, uh, Alpha Julia, excuse me. Alpha Oscar Julia. Um, thank you very much for the contact. 7 3s and have fun. Roger, Roger. 7 3s and you too. I'm sorry that I messed up Sacramento Valley. I'm for some reason probably with San Jose. No problem at all. Uh, thank you, thank you, Field Day, November 6th. Whiskey, Bravo, Field Day. Whiskey 6, Alpha Romeo. Whiskey 6, Alpha something. This is uh, Whiskey 6 Yankee Alpha Romeo. Please say again your call sign. We are 
Oscar Romeo. Hey, we copy Kilo 7 Delta, 2 Alpha, Oscar Romeo. We're two. This is uh, Whiskey Six Yankee Alpha Romeo. We are two Alpha Oscar. Ro uh, sorry, two Alpha Sierra Victor. Uh, two Alpha Sierra Victor. Is that Whiskey Six Yankee Alpha Romeo? Correct. Affirmative. That's correct. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much all the footage that I took at field day. Um, I was only there for about two hours. I made a handful of contacts, nothing too crazy. Um, it's hot. It's supposed to be 100 and something. My computer's saying it's 101 degrees right now. Um, so it's hot. It's windy. Uh, we had a lot of challenge with the noise floor. We were next to an industrial site, so um, the noise floor was really, really loud. It was hard to pick some stations out, um, and just, you know, it was still fun, still a lot of socializing. All right, so that pretty much wraps up all the footage I took for the Barry Essa Amateur Radio Club field day. It was a fun time. I didn't make a ton of contact, but I was only there for about two hours, and I talked for probably an hour 45 of that. Um, and that's, like I said, I see it as a social event, saying hi to friends, etc, etc. Thanks for putting up with the weird vlog. I'm still getting used to it. I filmed another vlog earlier this week, which is partly why I'm all sunburnt, of uh, off-roading and some outdoor stuff, so I need to edit that one and also get that up to the channel. Um, but I'm trying to get in the habit of vlogging. I'm sure the first couple will be a little rough because I haven't done it in a while, um, but this will get better. It will improve. I'll get better about it. I'll actually remember that I have a camera with me. So thank you guys for putting up with it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.